of Winnipeg um, doing something, you know, I establishing the new game that Jordan Bean done. Yeah, yeah, we've been through all of that, so uh, I really <laughs> thought that uh, I would um, get the magistrate bit done that I'm going to put all my effort in next week. Yeah. So that you've got your little file in the ready position. Yeah, she's potent, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got my my homework done to link that to link that up because they're watching everything, everything, and there can't be any mistakes. It's too crucial right now. It's a, it's a point of time where a decision has to be made from here. Yeah. Because it's it's really the Queen's running her business from here. Yes. And, yeah. And, 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 and one thing I gathered yesterday is that uh, while we were there, we put Aaron Danny and then Danny was there, and Danny was there, and Yeah, yeah, so... approach across um, like a, a, um, to cover the whole country yeah. would come from one uh, organization yeah. up there it has to be an organization and that looks like you've you've got the big organization of yeah. mixed mixed ideas but they they will generally go to a meeting uh, that is organized uh, after you've been through the, the that part up there, I got an email from uh, Manahi on on what is happening there uh, just last last night. So I've got an idea of of the spiritual part has to be dealt with up there, and then the commercial part here in Auckland. Uh, yeah, that's what I that's. Yeah, yeah, that's right, right. And then, so, that's what we're saying. The moment, what we're going to get to, because we're seeing now that there's going to be a lot of those that are coming there. Yeah, that's... The people that come at the line, you know, the... Yeah, uh, they'll try and smother it. Uh, they'll try and smother it with a couple yeah, of... I mean, yeah, I, we, we just heard that the representative of the council and all that are going to be there as well. They send their money in the... Oh, the up at uh, Te Hapua. Yeah, oh. Oh, that's, oh, okay, I see now. Because I think the attention of what I'm saying online is uh, is necessarily true or otherwise. It's polarised them. It's polarised them. So, what we're doing is we're just concentrating on what we are going to do, and that's why we're going to put three days. Yeah. It's Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Right, right, right. So, you know, the, 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 you know how Billy and I have been, have been sort of just stepping back a bit, you know, back, taking the lead from the back. Right, right. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, it sounds right, and it sounds like uh, it will prop anything else up after that. That I'm, I'm, I'm going to book the marae here at some stage. Uh, at the, uh, if there's too many people at the Manirewa marae, otherwise it'll be Te Unga Waka marae, Hawaii marae in Epsom. That's more close to the One Tree Hill. Uh, and most of my meetings have been there that are documented and signed, and and, and notarized. Uh, so those go together from that point of, of the Auckland province. The, the Auckland province hooked in you guys up there at, uh, at um, Hokianga in uh, Okiato down to Awaroa in Helensville. Uh, that started Auckland off there and down to Whakawhiki in uh, Mount uh, Hikurangi. Tiki -tiki. <coughs> so that, that will make sense to spiritually get it grounded and then go into the political matters after that. That 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 will fit fine. Then they'll support anything where they are compensated this way uh, for any wrongdoings. Then they can go into that field. And what I'd do is I'll set things up here. I, I, I would not need to come up there, uh, only if you wanted me to, but I think I'll put all my time and effort in down here and getting this part set up. And then uh, I should have something sent up to you anyway. Uh, I'm only indiv individually sending you things now. There's only a small bunch of us and the ones over in uh, Scotland and England, um, the, the ones there, and just a handful here. But those and yourself will be involved with the province of Auckland. That's the other commercial arm of the Whakameninga, all right? That, that, that. Yeah, I'll stay on this. Sounds, that sounds spot on because otherwise we, we don't need to go to Titi because it's doubling up on what we've already done there yes. and skip straight into Auckland because time is of essence and we yes. need to get straight into the financials of Cook Street and yes. uh, what I've, I'm splitting out the financials into uh, the whakamining up there, they're, yes. they're, they're cutting the, what we recover uh, yeah. and uh, the percentages of um, Britain in being Beautiful. in the partnership. I'm, I'm making sure that the, the Whakamini and its flag goes together in partnership with Beautiful. the uh, British Navy. And now with this, I've just posted some stuff with uh, Nicola Sturgeon from the First Prime Minister of Scotland has been axed out of, out of 10 Downing Street and it just leaves the Northern Ireland there <laughs> running, wow. running the place with uh, Theresa May um, yes. and she is the uh, Lord of the Treasury yes. and um, also Philip Hammond, I've, I've been writing to him for such a long time now, he's the ex exchequer and that's the man with the, the checkbook that's our partner there in that business and so I'm setting up ourselves so that we're at that level of competing on the commercial stage straight into the uh, um, mainstream uh, and no little waka, it's a big waka. Um, yeah, uh, really great job. yeah, now everybody's watching, they're watching. Yeah. We even yeah. got Canada on board now and they, they are, um, uh, are watching what happens to well, this native will send, uh, set the other natives uh, alight with the same yes. Um, blueprint from here, from the Whakaminiga. And that flag, I tell you what, that flag is starting to make heads roll um, yeah. because of its, uh, of its importance in, in the um, uh, accounting for who, who is playing with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all sitting in the court case with the magistrate with your little suitcase. And uh, I'm going to set, I did this, I set it up online. You, you can do court cases straight into the Supreme Court online. 
and straight into the Admiralty Court. I did that with John. His name is already in the, the Admiralty Court in uh, in London. <coughs> so all I had to do is get the authority, which is the Whakameninga, behind yeah. it because they're the ones that I can't go as myself. It has to come from an organisation. So you're really forming your organisation today, yeah. of today's uh, uh, time, caught right up to speed. Yeah. And you, you just say who, who, who you are, where you fit, and how you fit with... The flag is going to make, make the Whakameninga go straight up uh, yeah. into that realm of the king's, uh, king's uh, um, crown uh, land patents. <coughs> that, that's, that nobody's claimed it yet. No, nobody's claimed that Sedeke Trust that's been set up by Rome, but that came out of the Admiralty. Everything's come out of that contract with the Whakameninga. That That's the part that's very hard to, to uh, decipher. And I'll have that all done in a short, shortened up version of a magistrate court, which is really the acts of those two King Williams. And uh, and um, uh, how how our part fits, and you don't. There's no grievance in it. It's just business as normal uh, to to uh, balance the books and settle up it's, it's the, the final settlement. That's why those big pound notes are, are there. There's nobody saying nothing. They won't say nothing. And you know the Supreme Court here when they when William came here, <coughs> he uh, the Queen wasn't told that um, the uh, government and Sean Elias and uh, John Key had no seal from the Queen and still haven't got a seal from the Queen. So that's something for you to, to ponder over. The Supreme Court here has no seal over the seal we have on that eight-point star of St. Patrick in Belfast, Northern Ireland. King William III and the banknotes and the Bank of England was created out of that uh, uh, municipality, mu municipality, uh, there with that eight point star. All right, that's us. Please, here's something we need on. Yeah. We probably need a physical seal for the Hogamina. A what? So that a physical seal? Yeah, we have. That's the one with him on his horse and his, um, his ship in the background on, on that eight point star on my head. Yeah, so that's the seal. Yeah, so that that you will get that in your brief um, when I give it to you well before you go up the Yahui up there okay. on that seal that that is already on our flag is that eight point star with the yes. with the with him on his horse in the middle of it. Yeah, right, that's what I was wearing on my hat. Um, so that's what's that. Yes. So all it is, is a private contract of nobody's business between the Paramount and the King. And, 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 and it's an English flag, it's not a Maori flag, it's not any other Pacific flag. It was given for the King to match the Paramount in the contract that, that, uh, that uh, to, to protect the trade from here in England and not for every other Tom Deck and Harry. But she's got her own story. That's for her uh, outside of the contract. That's 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 all it is. It's a, it's all it is is a contract, international contract, not just Samoa. This goes around the world, uh, yeah. and from here, and it. Yeah, yeah. That's what it. 
that's that eight point star of St. Patrick. They used the church, that was King William III, put that together. On that, that's why that eight point star is on our flag because it went around the four corners of the earth. We are allowed to fly that on our flag and go anywhere in the world and, and trade with anybody without, without any difficulty. If you've got Kumaras to sell, if you've got Kumaras to trade, you can go to any country with that flag. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, now they, you, you buy them from um, uh, Mount Roskill, uh, flags with a F, F L A. Yeah, they're the true ones. Uh, flags. Eh? About um, uh, 40 bucks for the smaller one, and, uh, 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 and for the big one is about $90. For the big one, yeah. Yeah. So you, if we send you yeah. I'll send the invoice in your email. I'll, I'll yeah. send you the flag in the email, the which one and its price, and then uh, you can you can buy it straight there yourself, and they'll post it out to you. Yeah, that you, you can pay it straight to them from where you are with, with your credit card, and they'll yeah. post it straight to you. Okay. I'll give you the uh, address and the, the right flag. Um, and the right flag yeah, no, it's the right one. I know which one to get. Um, yeah. And it's got on it 1834 yes. on the flag. Uh, on the flag that they sell, it's got 1834. You got to make sure that you stick in that 1834 and tell them we don't go any further ahead of 1834. Yeah. <coughs> In fact, we go from 1650 King William the Third pound notes and and Bank of England to straight to yeah yeah. Yeah, now we we we've got to get our 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 flag right. Yeah. It's it's linked with the Williams, you see. Yes. And and the bank is in it as well because King William he reformed all the acts and into the commercial bank and money of today. Not they what they didn't have mortgages in that time. Yeah. The mortgages started from King William, then the Rothschilds stole it off Queen Victoria uh, Victoria. And that's wow. that was the switch. It's supposed to be King Ernest Augustus, the first the, the other brothers supposed to take over, they switched it. They made sure that the other King George the Fifth died, so that William would get it, then they then they wait for him to drop over and that's what happened. They got it, and we're getting it back to our, our King William, King Ernest Augustus V to keep our flag going. Otherwise, they can turn it off. Yeah. They can switch it off. We're, we're trying to get in before they bring this new world order in and hell let loose. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's how that, that, that's how that we'll works. Just concentrate on that. Yeah. We'll just concentrate on that. We'll just, I'll just concentrate on our, our Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. That's that's, 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 that's yeah, no, yeah, now just stay on that and I'll get your brief uh, together. I'll have something together next week that'll have the financials of what the the federal state will be set up in yeah. Auckland that of that value of of the, the amount from the Cook Street recovery and yes. and uh, the pound notes are already sitting in the NZ Bank so I'll, I'll put it in the cuboid title on, and yes. Manahi will come down and stay with me here and uh, we'll, they both, both him and his wife can stay here in my, my place, and we'll yeah. be, we'll be going over these documents together, ready for the yeah. fucker meeting to, to sign uh, when they come to Auckland. Okay. But you'll get all of that as a paramount. You'll get all of that. Just you and and uh, Manahi. There, there is nobody else um, in in this uh, uh, paramount side. Um, uh, me, you, and and and. Uh, uh, Manahi and Desmond yeah. will take my place uh, for the sheriff because he knows what, exactly what to do. That's yeah. Desmond, my nephew, the fellow with the carved face. Oh yeah. Yeah, Desmond. He's he's following behind me just to keep a record, and that okay. that'll be open to you and and Manahi. But there is nobody else in yeah. in this side of the uh, commercial arm um, okay. for Auckland. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. So the flags, I need to get a couple of those. 
Yeah, I'll send the thing to you, and yeah. then uh, you can you can order it straight from you straight there yeah. um, to Flags New Zealand and um, right. and, and the right flag. Yeah, it's got eighteen thirty four on it. Okay, I'll, I'll email it. I'll email it to you, and any relevant stuff um, that's that's got to be more concentrated now. I'm, I'm not going to send. You're, you're gonna yeah, I'm going to have a bound up one um, of a magistrate. That's all you need in your bag to form a court and pull any axe out to, to put on anybody. You'll, you'll be you'll be behind the court hearing for Auckland when we have the hearing there, uh, and as a magistrate, and uh, Manahi will sign the British side of the magistrate there in Westminster Magistrate Court, and you'll you'll take care of the whole country here. Under that one uh, cuboid title, the the surface title and the admiralty titles. Right. That's for the whole the whole country, from right. Cook Street. One bit of land equals the whole sixty six million acres. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks for that, uh, buddy. Good update. You're welcome. Perfect. Okay. Kia ora. Bye. Bye. There we go. That's uh, Bundy, Waitai, I just told him that he's responsible as an organisation to get his people ready spiritually uh, as perfected title to these lands. The Kuboi title is the land to the centre of the earth to the heavens. No matter who's on it, it's the king's title in the commercial world that's of today, that's taken 183 years gone by to get this far on that jurisdiction of authority from a king, male, line, dominant, Dutchman, German Dutchman, King William III and King William IV. I think there's enough material I have out there that's fact cited and evidence and so now Bundy knows what to do he's got a level head on his shoulders he's got um, uh, Manahi uh, Parapara Mohini to cover for the Moriori Manukau side of title to Mangatauturi mountain uh, site and this land issue native land issue that the crown says it owns in fact, we are the crown from Britain and the crown of ourself, the Maui statue. That's a real crown with his hat on his head, earth, earth to earth, as being spiritual on its own. Uh, so I'm glad that um, uh, Bundy has run and uh, 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 a big shout out to um, uh, Hiriwiri Kraka or Selwyn Clark. Uh, the captain of the ship, uh, so to speak. I hope he's well enough to come down to Auckland to the hui. I'll be setting up the hui. It depends on how many people come. Might have to get the money there on Marae. That's a Ngāti Pro Marae. <coughs> there, and Clark, the guy Clark there, John Clark, or, or might be a different Clark. Uh, I had my hui there with um, Mohi Manukau for the Kafaru, the giant from uh, Wakatu, Whakatū. In Nelson, the Oropu came up um, for the unveiling on One Tree Hill. So we're back on the One Tree Hill and the land titles in Auckland, um, province, province, provincial Auckland, stretching right through the whole country later from 1840 onwards, but we're going back to the first provincial Auckland, the new Auckland title, which stretched <coughs> all the way down from um, Tiki Tiki, East Coast, Lisbon, <coughs> Topol, and up to um, Northland, all the whole of Northland. So it, it put together the three native courts, the um, Okiato Native Court in Russell, Bay of Islands, to Awaroa Native Court in Helensville, to Whakawhitira Native Court in Hikarangi, Mount Hikarangi, in the Tiki Tiki Waiapu <coughs> County District. 
of magistrate courts, three magistrate courts set up. That's where we start. We go back into the magistrate court to conduct our hearings and straight into the Supreme Court. I'll be putting together a Supreme Court hearing for John Key and his Panama Papers libeled the whole of the Crown system right through the world and the Queen in it. He's in Australia now working and he'll libel Australia and the Commonwealth of Australia and the Federal State of Australia and the United States and also Canada and Britain. He'll libel the whole lot in this court hearing I'm putting together as a Supreme Court hearing and a Magistrate Court hearing because this Magistrate Court here, I was just telling Bundy, has no seal from the Queen or Westminster Parliament when they open the Supreme Court here with Sean Elias, the biggest scam fraudster in this country, with her husband, Hugh Fletcher, and also John Key, Helen Clark, Jerry Montepulai, and Anne Sattenham, those two Governor Generals, and now Patsy Reddy, Governor General. They are all in this racket with Queen Elizabeth II, <coughs> libeled a whole lot of them by going into the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest, treason against the state or the country of Britain, her financial investment interests in Brussels, uh, in conflict with us, the partnership of Admiralty with Captain Simons, William Simons in Edinburgh, Scotland, our native titles there, to the whole world, the native titles from the blueprint here, I'm just telling Bundy. He's reading all the stuff I gave him, all the documents, all the affidavits. <coughs> he actually owns with Napoli as being the first contractors to a private contract of Admiralty Magistrate Court. That's why I'm saying this bag I have, I'm making a smaller file for Bundy and Money and Desmond. Um, or my nephew uh, will be taking my place as sheriff. Uh, he's got it up here, knows what to do. He doesn't have to say much. He'll be there to support Hedewili Karaka and uh, Money and also um, Bundy. These are um, the commercial arm of the Whakaminia <coughs> that I'm putting together here. No matter who you are, brown, blue or black or red, colour or creed or culture, we're all in the same boat, under the same Queen system of law and King system of law. It's still above the Queen's authority. We have everything ready to go, <coughs> barring a court hearing of two authorities. The Whakameninga in Northland uh, with Ngāpui as being the 13 chiefs who signed in 1834 under the uh, Port Tree in Tingaire, um, uh, up from Nga um, Matari Bay. Um, so I've already been there <coughs> on the Marae in um, um, Matari Bay <coughs> with uh, Hoepa Ebiha. Uh, he's done a very good job of uh, the Komatu in Hokianga, uh, bringing them together. So they'll be forming themselves up into one organisation to lead the rest of this country in the native title to these lands. And there's a big divide in. Maori, what Maori is, we're not going to bother too much about that because that's the crown side. We're just worrying about who's going to come into the king's bench court to claim their right to whatever we recover. And the first will be Cook Street. 77 Cook Street will be the first land title to seize off those two landowners, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree. You've been warned, Baileys, you've been warned. You've been warned. I'm, I've warned those people down the East Coast. You've been warned that we're bringing the British in because the law here is inadequate. 
it is corrupted. The justice system here is corrupted completely. The police have lost the case against me and the documents that I'm holding and forcing on them. Now, that's a big issue for the CIB here to lose against me because of what I'm holding, the king's surrogate position of power with these paramount chiefs to back me up. <clears throat> and then the whole of the hapus will jump in behind once they have their end sorted, then they'll converge on this court hearing here. One equals 66 million acres of land. One acre equals 66 million acres of land in New Zealand. So there, that tells you something. <coughs> that they've <coughs> woken up from a slumber. But the flag is still live. It is still live. We're just going to find who's been using it. It's not our concern where they made and how they made the money and the wealth under the Queen's and the Rothschild Banks and the Pope and the Church of State and the Federal State of the United States, how they made the money that's come out of this flag. The two kings, King William III, King William IV and <coughs> King George the III and King George the Fourth. So that's our side of the um, titles here to this country that so far no one can refute. All those documents are sitting online now. I'm just putting, posting documents <coughs> again where Nicola Sturgeon, first Prime Minister of Scotland, has been ousted out of 10 Downing Street by Theresa May the uh, Lord of the Treasury, she's holding the purse strings, <coughs> Prime Minister, and also Philip Hammond, exchequer, the man with the checkbook, and also Philip Taylor, Philip Jones, sorry, Sir Philip Jones, Lord of the Sea, of Admiralty, right here in this flag. They'll need our flag to prop them up, and it's nobody's business. Um, <clears throat> of Admiralty, it's still live over the authority of any other court. And as I'm saying, <clears throat> the Supreme Court of New Zealand is corrupted. It's corrupted by Sean Elias and her uh, Chief Justice position of power, abused of power to run this country <clears throat> when John Key opened the Parliament up without authority from Britain. He opened it up illegally when the Governor-General went and Anne Sadden and Jerry Mottaprai came in as the Governor-General. I warned them they have no seal in their courts and that's what I said to the judge in the Auckland District Court when they locked me up in prison. They've got a few trillion on their head for locking me up, the surrogate king a few trillion for locking me up and lost the case. Insufficient evidence. You know why? Because there was too much evidence online. And that's what the judge said. No need for the barrister to tell him. It's all on YouTube. And that's why these YouTubes that I make are citations against any of you that I name. When you hear your name being put on these videos, they're citations and fact evidence that you have to prove that is untrue when I'm saying it's true. That Donald Trump is mixed up in the same fraud game as Hillary Clinton. It's a setup. They've set up all these ISIS, <coughs> the wars, to make business for themselves and their own private investment interests against the citizens of America and the Commonwealth countries of the world. <clears throat> the Queen is running her corrupted fraud business with the Rothschild banks in America, using the power note, abusing our power note, that's our copyright, our brand name, under these eight-point star of St. Patrick's in Belfast, 
<coughs> Patrick Down, where my family comes from, the Cosgroves, and I make this public that I'm going there to take that title on our flag with an eight point star on our flag is a commercial contract, private contract, magistrate court in the four corners of the earth, free passage through the world in 250 countries with the British military, our partner, Philip Jones, first Lord of the Sea. Sir Philip Jones is our Navy surrogate to King William III and King William IV jurisdiction of Admiralty in this flag that we hold as contractor, second party to a first party contract with the King. We are the King's partners. Paramount Chief equals King in a commercial world as commercial land owners of this country, not <coughs> part owner or Lynn's New Zealand, New South Wales title owner. No, we are British commercial landowners under the King. So uh, people, I hope you're learning a lot about who we are and what we propose to do is to go to Ireland, Northern Ireland, <coughs> in the Protestant side, not the Catholic side, in the Protestant side, in Belfast, Patrick Down, Down Patrick, um, Belfast County, and put our flag up. That marks the jurisdiction to take the D DUP party, Democratic Union Party, of Arlene Foster, First Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, into Westminster, well she's already there, but with the flag, and ourselves her partner. We are her partner in the British sense. We're also the partner in Edinburgh, St Mary's Church, or St Mary's Chapel, the Holy Grail underneath that chapel uh, that <coughs> is in our birth certificates in Tiki Tiki, 1831. Registry of births, deaths, and marriages inside that church with our titles there, our native titles of New Zealand country and Pacific Islands through Te Rawaikato Wharehere Manukau Paramount Chief and Lieutenant William Simons, um, 23rd Regiment of the Magistrate Court. He's a magistrate man that stitched up the contract, the private contract, with their flag <coughs> to join Britain to us in that private contract, nobody's business of trade and investment, bank interests of King William III and King William IV, commercial contractors in Edinburgh. Magistrate Court <coughs> and the native land titles there in Glasgow with our names on of our chiefs. Okay, so that's what I really wanted to join that back into the Westminster Magistrate Court in Westminster City <coughs> in Paddington, where I'll be going to live and work with the Governor on behalf of all the 250 countries as ambassador to Britain and Northern Ireland and Scotland, Wales, England and New Zealand Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth wealth of the world in 250 countries under this flag. Got that? We are the native for all natives including Harvey and um, Raymond Faithful in Canada and their native tribes and also the other tribes in America, native tribes there um, that are waiting as well and the tribes in Australia affected by the same title that we have here as blueprint for them <coughs> to put all the titles and its royal revenue 
King's Royal, Royal Revenue back into the King's Bench Magistrate Court and <coughs> <coughs> Trust, the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust. Now, I'm just saying to Bundy, there's two organisations here operating at the moment. The Whakamininga itself, the upper house of Titi Marae, they make all the laws there for their lands there, has always been through the years on a spiritual level of the hapu and the commercial arm is here at Auckland, the Moai Crown King William Fourth Trust set up in Auckland with the other businesses attached to it. That's the Moai Crown, Ngātua Ewa Altair Limited, New Zealand Company, registered company, and the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited registered company in London. That company there. And the Moai Powerhouse <coughs> um, companies and Moai Tidal Energy companies in the economic side of business of the Moai Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the world set up in Auckland. That's what that government is in Cook Street. We're going to start off from Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, take that over. And uh, Cornwall, Cornwall Park in Auckland, where Mohi Manukau wanted the uh, parliament set up there uh, for the uh, Confederation of Chiefs, while we're crossing that out and putting in its place the Commonwealth Federal State Government of the world. Straight to Britain, with the flag flying on One Tree Hill. <coughs> Straight there. And uh, we'll decide what happens from there onwards. Uh, we'll have the, the, the court hearing in one or the other marae, depending on how much uh, people are coming. So at this stage, uh, I'll leave that on hold and make arrangements for the marae straight after the hearing up north. And <coughs> be in late August or early September. Uh, so I just have to book well in advance the marae so that we have how many people that will stay there and um, go from go from there. So um, what else is there? I can say that um, um, we're getting things organised um, with um, uh, Matt Taylor and, and uh, Jackie and Jackie Little Gordon and her husband Andy in Scotland and Matt Taylor's in uh, Brighton, England, uh, to um, um, take their place uh, there. And I'm hoping, I haven't heard back from Gordon Bowden, he might uh, not be interested at this stage, but uh, however, we're going ahead with our business there. And I'm waiting for a reply. Um, I sent a message on Facebook on to <coughs> Arlene Foster, uh, First Prime Minister of Northern Ireland. I'm waiting for a reply from her. Otherwise, I'm going to sit and write an official letter head to her uh, as soon as I get a chance uh, to uh, uh, get her interest in us joining up our organisation here with her organisation in Northern Ireland. I think that's appropriate. It's in order with this flag as being the king's flag, the highest flag in the world of a king, given on dry land. It's a dry land flag given to Bundy and his chiefs up north <coughs> as being <coughs> a business deal. It's a business deal. Not so much the sold land, but the use of the land. The land still belongs there with the people. I'm saying the whole lot of the people who are on the land and we're just going to strain out all the crooked ones with this magistrate court and pull them into court. We've already got a whole bunch of names of people that have violated the King's laws and our flag jurisdiction. Okay, so that's all I want to say for now before this video runs out. And today's Saturday, the um, 22nd of July 2017 
and I'm just about to go to the gym and have a little run around and push a few weights while I'm thinking about it since I've got a lot of work done yesterday and uh, I think I feel like going up to have a bit of exercise. So enjoy your weekend uh, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.